Good afternoon. We're back with more DC Dual Force. Today I think we'll take a brief break from testing Joker decks and I'm going to try Aquaman and Cyborg. I think Aquaman's probably pretty good with any hero in the game. Cyborg's one of my favorites to play, though I don't think he's that strong, but I would like to find the best possible deck for him. So we'll go the standard my cards. And then our tactics package. Hmm. Kind of iffy about a rest lately. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's not. May try not including it this time. Okay, let's try that. Here we go. Okay, playing against one of the top meta combos. We'll see how it goes. We'll probably need to get a good draw or have them get a bad draw in order to win. If Diggle lives, I can bat signal and I should be in pretty good shape. And he's not going to live. Should have played Crypto instead. Though he still could have died if he was able to get off a uh, battering. Now we're in trouble. In fact, this may just be a concede with that silver draw instead of bronze. Because I have to float a bronze resource. Crypto is just going to die. Can't bat signal, so that's a dead card in the hand, and I don't have another bronze resource to play next round. So this may just be a, a write off game with a bad draw. Or a good draw for my opponent, because Steve Trevor is probably the only card in his deck that could have taken out Diggle. But anyway.
If he chooses not to trade, we may have a chance. May the gods grant us their favor. Because that gives us a resource. Gives us something to do with the bronze resource this round. That doesn't matter, it can still be bad signaled. to cycle oh he's playing Steve Trevor instead May the gods okay. grant us their favor. wants to preserve his board but he's gonna have to trade in like two attacks to deal with steel if he didn't do that Do this. Sacrifice crypto. These high value trades. Next turn we have cyborg. Just go and rush. Didn't want to trade with the uh, Batman. So that's going to be four. Time to crank things up. Risky to uh, charge Aquaman instead of Cyborg because I need him to survive and he may not. Give me healing. Okay. That's a good draw. Now it's less risky.
Going Rush was probably correct for him. I don't know. If he had downed Batman instead of the uh, Seahorse, would he have been okay? I don't know. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. May the gods grant us their favor. So he's still gonna go face, of course. All face all the time. Didn't look good there in the beginning, but it stabilized and... Pretty decent showing for Aquaman Cyborg. Though, it was more Aquaman than Cyborg, but Cyborg having access to the Tactics faction is not irrelevant, because Tactics is very, very good right now. Probably in need of a nerf. I think that almost any combo containing Aquaman is going to do okay. Even after the nerfs to his creatures, he's just really, really strong. After we failed to get the bat signal off in the last game, I thought we were done for. Well, let's try, try again. Opponent gonna draw Steve Trevor. If Diggle lives, we have Bluebird to buff him and bat signal, and we'll be in great shape. We did eventually get the bat signal off because my opponent made a pretty critical mistake in the last game which is that he left, left Crypto alive. I'm not sure I would have won that game if he hadn't done that. I'm going with Bluebird over Harvey. Well, no, because the buffed guy will just die to Wonder Woman next round, so let's go with Harvey. And rather than trading, we're going to go with the Bat Signal. don't see other players play Bad Signal a lot. That card is incredible. It's one of the best in the Tactics Sphere. You don't always get it off, but when you do, you win, like, all the time. Okay, don't see that card too much, but it's good when you get it off early. If you had gotten a second one off, too, that would have been a problem. But it's kind of parlaying the strength of Wonder Woman and Batman early into more late game power, which is not a bad idea. So he's gonna clear up my board. Oh, that's surprising. Alright. Well, let's see if we can get a damage gadget. Nope. Okay. If we could have gotten a damage gadget, we could have cleared the Superman robot and anti opened him in a phenomenal spot. But even so, Batman is a strong play. We 
Okay. Cyborg will have only three power. So I actually think I may want to draw. Let's see what we get from on Okay. Um, and we'll go Huntress as well. And I'm going to use Aquaman to trade. It hurts, but I'm going to do it. Heal. Use Steve Trevor to buff. Or to uh, get another charge there. strong. be an attack for five. I um, think I'm not going to do that. Okay, there's bad signal. Nice That's terrible news. Did you get the damage? No. So this guy is no problem. Cyborg can take him out. Wants to go face, of course. Top decking. I will turn the tide. Gonna trade there. Go Hippolyta. So 
but he's got Batman and he'll be able to KO Aquaman. chooses not to. Okay. Yeah, I guess he had to do that. Or he was going to lose. So he can still KO Aquaman this turn. Batman is just incredibly strong. That's a good top tech. It's gonna come down to top techs either way. I still have a few tricks on my sleeve. Steve Trevor would be a really good top deck for me. Loses the stats by doing that. Yeah, it's just going to come down to draws. That wasn't it. Whoever draws the higher costing cards will win. The Under the circumstances, that was a good draw. I do live for another turn. No, I don't, actually. He wins. Okay, I'm not upset about that. It just came down to draws. Probably the previous game against Batman Wonder Woman just came down to draws as well. Besides Batman Wonder Woman today. I could keep both bat signals given this hand, because I can guarantee to get it off with Nightshade. Maybe keeping both was bad.
me bronze. No. Bet to float a resource. That's really bad. So we're not going to be able to use the Batman actually with his Superman robot having shield and the Nightshade is going to die. So this actually ended up being a really bad draw given what he had. But lesson learned. I'm actually thinking about just conceding if he doesn't have to float a resource. May the gods grant yeah, because we're floating two resources this round. Doing nothing. So, um, I'm thinking this is a concede. Now is when I'd really like to have a rest. There's a shield. Eh. It's still pretty bad. I think we're out. I said before that in this game there aren't a lot of decisions to make, so at the moment, the way the game is, if there was ranked play, high level games would simply come down to draws most of the time, with few decisions making an impact, at least at the at high levels. I rarely see plays from other players where I think, oh, that's a mistake. It does happen, but I rarely see it. Most of what decides games right now just comes down to what cards you have and what cards you draw. And there is some skill involved with that because you have, with, when there's a crafting system, you have to understand the game well enough to know which cards I should spend my resources on. If everybody is operating under, with an incomplete collection, then that does kind of influence the outcome, your understanding of the game. But over time, that will become a solved problem. And, and what's going to decide games at a high level is just going to be draws right now. Because when you can only play two cards per turn, there aren't going to be a lot of combos. And so there's not a lot of room for a kind of creative play or innovation in the play. And then the only thing that can really decide a game is your understanding of the meta and uh, and how well or how poorly you draw. I guess he can't do anything about the Clark Kent. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate that I didn't get bronze. That's all right. We can't have everything. Every game so far today has been Batman Wonder Woman. There isn't a real good hard counter for it. It can be inconsistent though, it's very draw dependent, more so than other decks I would say, because with the aggressive nature of the heroes it can run out of steam. Gonna eat the 12 damage. Give me 
bronze, please. I don't want to float another. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, game. Deal one damage. Sure, because it buffs the bat wing. Okay. Um, I think I want to go with dual Hippolytas though. Because that's really strong. It's a rare case where I don't play Bad Signal when I have the opportunity. going to be able to make that batwing pretty big. That's a good draw. I still don't have that card and it's only a rare. I still a few tricks on my sleeve. It would definitely re re definitely replace Huntress in my deck. Interesting. May the gods grant us their favor. It's four. So we can go Time to crank things up. And then I'm gonna have bat signal Hippolyta here, I think. I think I have to. So Aquaman's dead, and it looks like we lose. Well, I can safely say that playing against the same hero combination over and over gets old quickly.
So let's hope for a different combo. Because really these games are just coming down to draws. I think they're slightly favored, so we have to draw a little bit better and they have to draw a little bit worse to win. But um, yeah, the, seeing Batman and Wonder Woman so much is um, something that I hope will change in the future. I think generally speaking in card games, people don't want to see the same combinations over and over. And uh, if that becomes the case, then likely an adjustment is needed. Now you're always going to see the same. Typically with metas, there's like, there's going to be three or four decks at the top. I've never seen a card game where there was more than that. That's really hard to balance a game so that you have more than three or four decent decks. I mean, Star Wars CCG would have maybe half a dozen. I'd say that was pretty good balance. Never really the case in Hearthstone that much or uh, Marvel Snap, but um, DC Dual Force is still in open beta, so I'm hopeful that these kind of balance things will be ironed out. We'll play Nightshade first. That's not the card I would like to be running in this deck. I don't think it's that good in this deck. I'd probably prefer, uh, well, what would I prefer? I'm not sure, now that I think about it. Maybe if I had the cards, I would run more Bronze from Might and maybe run like Commissioner Gordon or Robin from, uh... so we're getting off to a pretty good start here. And we're not facing Batman and Wonder Woman, that's helpful. get the big Batman play. We'll play Harvey. Unfortunately, we don't have anything we can play at the moment next round. I haven't seen sight or sound of these gold cards all video. I think this is the first time I've seen a gold card in my hand. Huh, now that I think about it, I don't think I've seen a gold card in my hand yet. Yeah, that's how it goes. You'll uh, you'll get a, like an, a new ultimate card, you'll draw your like Batman or your Superman and be really excited, but then actually only see it like every one in five games or something. Which um, probably be a bit discouraging. So we need to do things in a specific order. A sacrifice here. sea creature that I usually want to see. Probably the least good of them, but it's still really good for a hero power creature. Okay, yeah, I don't blame him. Well, 
Well, I guess that's why people played Batman and Wonder Woman so much. I don't think there's anything that player did wrong there at all. recall seeing it before. Let's see how it does. Okay, so Clark Kent's not going to be the play here. He's going to get a fast silver. I've never seen somebody play Blue Devil successfully or otherwise before. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. We're seeing a new combo, some new cards. If he has the right hand, he could get off to a very fast start. If he doesn't, the silver resource will go to waste. Interesting. It's a ramp deck. Oh wow. That's a play. Now he couldn't use the bronze, but that's a that's an interesting play. For sure. I probably will play Clark Kent here, but uh, he's just gonna die to the amethyst, but that's fine. Okay. Well, whatever happens here, I am enjoying playing against this deck. Which is definitely more than I can say for the uh, Wonder Woman decks. This, this uh, name kind of looks familiar to me. Maybe playing against a streamer with a full collection. I'm not sure. Or it's possible he just got lucky and drew Superman. I think that's one of the best ultimates in the game. But um, we might be playing against a, a streamer. And now this is a bad hand with all silver and no bronze. And we got the steel. That's rough. I think it's got to be Superboy. We'll see what happens for one more turn, but I don't think this is going to be a win.
well. And definitely Axe the Superman. I think it's going to be Steel and Huntress here. Time to crank things up. Wow. Okay. Well, what can you do? Um, I mean, we can deal with Billy Batson, but Hawkman's still going to die. And, yeah. So he, his deck is running uh, Superman and Sh Shazam. Either he's really, really lucky or he was uh, a streamer playing with a full account. I, I kind of think I recognize that name. But regardless, I enjoyed seeing the deck. go with nightshade so we can get the bat signal off for sure. Bat signal. 
And we actually have double bronze. But uh, bat signal's better. May the gods grant us their favor. Okay, he's off to a strong start. These Batman Wonder Woman decks typically do get off to a strong start. But we've got some things we can do as well. Okay, got a good draw there. He's going for Cyborg first. They usually go for Aquaman. Got some gold cards for next round. Can we draw another silver? Uh, okay, well. It's fine. He's out of cards. I think we're okay here. Okay, well, I think we just play Aquaman, we play Steve Trevor, and then we win. Overall, I would say a mixed bag, but a difficult session to really evaluate a deck from. I think the win rate was around 50-50, maybe a little lower. 
but we played so much Batman Wonder Woman and then played that one deck that had both Superman and Shazam and was able to copy Shazam um, and was able to ramp into Superman. That was pretty cool. Never seen that before. But we played so much Batman Wonder Woman that it's hard to really evaluate the deck. Um, certainly don't think it's exceptional though. But it kind of held its own with Batman Wonder Woman, though I do think that deck is slightly favored over this one. And the reason that we won when we won was because the other deck's draws were a dead, or we drew well. Hard to say though. Anyway, thank you for watching.